In recent times, I have been uploading videos surrounding what I think are bad Disney characters from how their stories ended up. Ones that I don't really hate at all and thought they had great potential to be special and I still love to this day, but never really had that potential in the first place. But then while thinking about that, there are other characters who were designed one way who are just so awful that I really hate. Ones that come from what I consider to be the company's worst, and one that everyone already knows at this point because of how covered it has been that being the worst of all the worst Disney parents ever, that was all featured in the worst Disney Disney film being Buck Cluck from Chicken Little. Like honestly, it is astonishing how Disney managed to release this movie compared to the other things they have done recently, where while I may be upset at recent films, none really contrast how much I hold this to be the worst of the bunch with of course characters like Buck Cluck himself being that very way. Like there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing positive to talk about him in any other way, who really makes the other Disney parents or characters that I hate, like Agnar and Iduna from Frozen, into the best freaking parents on earth, because he is just that bad. And considering that this movie doesn't really have a villain at all, you can really point out that Buck Cluck in a way does seem more like the villain in the entire film in that regard rather than just a regular Disney parent who loves his own son. But the reason why I wanted to title this video as the worst Disney character ever rather than just the worst Disney father or Disney parent is because that is the simple truth that stands against what most of the studio is known for, for the values of those who encourage us, especially parents, where he constantly berates and puts those things down to his own son in Chicken Little. And we know that he does apologize later for his actions in the film, but his actions do carry the weight for most of the story and it's not really justified enough to forgive him for how bad Chicken Little is as a character. Where fortunately enough for you and me, I will not be spending a whole lot of time about talking about him because it's just not worth the effort and so many people will probably explain a lot more, but still will explain his pathetic attitude that Disney had rightfully forgotten. In the case back in 2020 when their official Twitter account tweeted that family is there for you with Buck front and center, which was honestly very stupid and proved that whoever made that tweet did not watch the film Chicken Little, which I honestly don't blame them for doing that since most times Disney doesn't acknowledge their failures at the box office either in most good or bad cases, unless counting recently with Wish and Once Upon a Studio where they did celebrate them as part of a hundred years. Because if you created something that you could be regarded as your worst possible work by a lot of people, you really would want to forget that since it caused you pain. Pain that especially translates into modern Disney when this was the first real major 3D film they ever did, really just sticking it, abandoning Treasure Planet for something like this. I just cannot believe I had to watch this movie again just for this character, where it unfortunately will not be my last time for other videos that I have planned, because watching these moments when he's on screen just makes me hate it even more than I thought from before. A fact that doesn't help with the original versions of the film of Chicken Little himself, when Chloe was still alive and he was at least a more tolerable character where they decided to up his worst attributes to an unbelievable 11. Because when you first see this character, it's all from the perspective of the town misunderstanding what fell from the sky was actually an acorn. How Chicken Little caused the public a stir with this freakout and now everyone's upset at him, where instead of actively trying to help out his son, he just points out the fact that it was the acorn that hit him, not allowing to explain himself and what he accurately saw as he gets flabbergasted and speaks gibberish. That instead of doing what most Disney parents would do, he goes the other way around because they decide to write the mom out of the story as seen by the shallow beginning and the fact that Chicken Little was supposed to be a girl amidst other things that I remember would have been 10 times better than anything we got in this film. Remember, in this video, I will be sharing tons of information of both past and future Disney parents regarding this guy because it really does make him stand out as the worst, where at the very least in Wish, Asha's father at least had a positive impact in that story despite not even being a character at all. Because when you think about the beginning of a Disney film, the parents are usually there in the positive figure in a child's life before they go away. Yes, some are angry at the beginning like George Darling, but he just wants his children to grow up in this instance, where the others like Tiana's father and what we know of Mufasa tell important lessons about love and carrying that over when they become older into the heroes that we all love. Would this one just decides to throw all of that into the trash where it's better to have Buck Cluck here just feel embarrassed at this apparent mistake? No! Quiet, son. This is embarrassing enough already. What a character, ladies and gentlemen. Just probably the best ever designed. And of course, to show some sort of consistency that this film has, it doesn't actually stop there where we jump a year later with a movie about Chicken Little coming out soon where he gets embarrassed by that fact. Nobody deciding to move on from that town's clown in that moment. Like, you have to be the worst father in the entire world world to allow something like that to happen. Like why doesn't he do anything to stop that from happening in the first place? He could gain some serious money for this if he decided to sue or just do anything to protect his own son, but just lets it happen because he's worried about his own selfish skin apparently. It's not shown because he doesn't want to be pictured like that, but they just did it somehow anyway. 
He let it get to a point where nobody likes his son, and that is just simply unforgivable. From books, movies, TV shows, whatever you could find that makes him stand out as the class clown. Because again, despite my personal hatred of Agnar and Iduna that makes the events of Frozen to the terrible point it was, they still did it out of love and protection, albeit in a bad way. That they really cared for their daughter's safety from any harm up until they were 18 and 16. Emphasis on the point that they did actually cared, or this dumbass just simply didn't do that in any way you could spin it because he tells his own son here to lay low and never ever to show his own face in the public ever again unless he wants more humiliation that I caused too. Remember, lay low. Again, understandable in the case of Elsa who was concealed away because she had powers she would never be able to control at that point, but Chicken Little here just didn't do nothing wrong. I mean, yes, the public freak out and all of that that everyone hates him for, but that was still encouraged and formed by his own father in this moment where he doesn't have powers at all and just needed help to see that. Like who taught this man how to become a parent? And again, later in the film, he's never encouraged to do anything good for his father by following in his own footsteps by going into baseball, not to get his hopes too high. What if I joined the baseball team? Ah! Just please try not to get your hopes too high. At this point, I'm just beginning to think he should have been adopted. It's better than this clown could ever do for a father. It's just insane to even have this because when you think of the overall film, it just moves into one arc of the story to the next, embarrassed at all at any fact that could help, anything that could come from his own parenting because that's not what Disney stories usually do. It's all about his reputation that matters in this regard rather than being a good father or a good person at all because people also hate him to be honest. Where even though others like King Triton did not want Arrow to have her dream come true to visit the surface and was angry at her, that was all done from the supportive perspective of love because he thought humans were very dangerous creatures wanting her to be safe and achieving her other desires down here as they were well respected under the sea. Where again, you don't have such an advantage of being a mermaid or having ice powers that you can justify your acts because it's not there. It's all done by your own actions where it's just you and your son and it's up to you to actually have a sustainable family and you're not doing that at all. And you only do it when he actually wins, still worried at the beginning of what could happen if he loses because that would put the cherry on top of the horrendous cake of being humiliated, where you instead love when something good happens but stay away if something bad happens. Like just how that alien ship appeared but then disappeared the moment he wants the town to see it to, regressing the story back and forth to where it began just like it never mattered. Remembering it's only good if something good happens to Chicken Little rather than something bad. All of that extra effort that went into getting the win and getting his respect means nothing. He never supported him in the first place to be the baseball star that got him to this point and he never acknowledges that again when that same mistake happens again and he gets tons of hate mail that he totally deserves anyway. It's a cycle of abuse to be honest where they don't have a clear purpose for what the story should be when they want the aliens to do this and sky falling and winning baseball where you know because Buck doesn't even want to acknowledge anything that Chicken Little says, Chicken Little instead hides the proof that would have actually made him trust him to what he says finally, like had that piece that fell out of the sky that is part of the alien ship. Like come on you have this piece, show your damn father it right now so it could make sense but you still don't do it so you can have a heartfelt apology later on when his sky indeed falls to make him seem right. Because you know, during their victory in the night they spent together, he decided that this entire sky was falling thing was all closed and shut, that they didn't even need to talk about anything regarding that incident ever because he had the ultimate victory that won the day, that we don't need to reconcile because this character is just far above from doing just that. Remember, it's not just the fact that he's a bad parent, but the fact he's a bad overall figure for the entire town trying to clean up his own mistakes to be put on to his own son. That he is a main character from beginning to end in that regard just being there and doesn't really do much except miss the fact that his wife is dead and could have done a better job of parenting as he always says. You're you're just stupid man. You, you have no idea what the hell you're doing in your life and you're just making things worse instead of actually answering the problems right then and there. You have the opportunity, use it, but you don't. And the fact that we should accept your apology later when everything he says is happening because you're a bad parent is just honestly so appalling and so unforgivable. This should not happen just because the sky is literally falling and making everything he says come true. That is not the moment you should be doing it. Even though it's nice to know that he owns up for his own mistakes apologizing to him and actually telling that he loves his son, it still should not have happened this late in the game when civilization is collapsing before their eyes considering the moment earlier in the film when they actually won. That he proved himself 
himself winning the baseball game just like his father did so that they could have some closure just like he said, enough to apologize for such mistakes early on. This movie is just so frustrating to watch with how embarrassing it is from beginning to end and now having a comedic supportive dad who caused destruction in his own wake. Cause I'm a horrible father. Okay, it's okay. No, 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 I am, I am. Like honestly, should they even ever forgive him based on the fact that they were chasing down the littles while they got vaporized before returning? Because I sure wouldn't even if Chicken Little was proven right just to solidify his own selfish desires that the film created. And oh yes, making jokes that he is a horrible father too. Like this ain't funny, this is just damn infuriating because it's all on you, you dork. Nothing you do in this film is clearly done out of love of your son and it's just done to save your own hide. A loving father would never do that even if he's bad, especially a Disney parent in that regard. So many wasted chances to clear this up earlier like the movie, the books, and his own win and is only done because we had to have a third act play out. There are two main characters in this film and you don't really even dare to use them properly. The film doesn't even know what studio it is from at this point. Like how is this a Disney movie? How is this a Disney movie? There's just no way that this came from the same company that made Beauty and the Beast and The Lion King just about a decade before this one was even released. That doesn't even make sense. It's illogical because those stories had better parents and guides where this one just seems like a thankless parody that's aged badly in the years that followed including the 3D films that Disney has released recently. Like no matter what you say everything that has come out, those films are actually 10 times better than what this entire movie really was. But alas, I have to pull myself back because this video is about Buck Cluck and the mistakes of his own character. So I guess we should just get back to that point, shall we? You were the one that left it behind. That's bad parenting. And I should know. Oh fuck you, I'm ending this 